Okay, so in this question, a graph shows the variation of force acting on an object moving in a straight line with distance moved by the object. Which area represents the work done on the object during its motion from P to Q? So the body is moving from P to Q and you are supposed to tell which area under the curve, under the graph, represents the uh, what work. It represents the work that was done while taking from B to Q. In all of these kind of questions related to graph, dear students, please listen to me care very carefully. The only thing is units and dimensions. That is the only important thing that we need to concentrate on. Like for example, the unit here is Newton and the unit here is meter. So if we are finding the area under the curve, what will be the unit of the area? Now that unit is not meter square always because this is not mathematics. This is physics. In physics, we have different axes. We have different physical quantities. And the graph which is made between two different physical quantities, we will first find the unit of the area. Now, what is that unit? So SI unit will be Newton multiplied by meter. You see, whatever the area you find here, let us say this area or let us say this area. So this thing will be in Newton and this thing will be in meter. So if you find the area here, so the unit will be Newton meter. What is Newton meter now? Which physical quantity is represented by Newton meter? It is work or energy. Work and energy are the same thing. They are represented by Joule. The SI unit is Joule. So this Newton meter is basically Joule. So now we are sure about this thing that the area under the curve will give you the work done. Simple. So now the body is moving from P to Q. So obviously the area that is under the curve from P to Q should be your answer. This should give you the work that was done on the body when it was moving from P to Q. So according to our options, the answer should be C, which is Y plus Z. As simple as that. The only thing is in these kind of questions, whenever they come in our examinations, we, we are just not able to... Um, remind ourselves that this is how we do it that we just need to find the area under the curve for the for the work done so be very careful at that time so let us uh, check the answer yes the answer is c so with this all the best bye